Back live to breaking news. Another night of protests on the plaza. Let's get back out to KCTV 5's Emily Rittman. Emily. Ellen and Brad will give you a look from our perspective right here. We are near the J.C. Nichols Memorial Fountain, and as you can see, some of the protesters are remaining here on the plaza. Many others are continuing to march throughout this area down many of the streets here near the plaza. Now, earlier today, it was a much different scene. Police and protesters were all together inside of a park for the Unity March, and we spoke to many people during that Unity March, and here is what they had to say. And I believe we might be having some technical difficulties, but we, the people that we spoke to said that they were relieved that the other officers involved in George Floyd's death have been charged. They were also relieved to see that the third degree murder had been upgraded to second degree murder. A lot of the people told us that they really... This was an opportunity for them to come together to make their voices heard and hopefully we'll be able to let you hear from them now. I'm happy that, you know, the uh, charges are finally bring, uh, being brought on all four of them and not just one. And I'm also happy that they at least up upgraded it from third degree to second degree murder. Other officers need to make those officers be known and stand up for what's right and quit going with the flow and looking the other way. The time is now for everybody to start listening, participating, and changing their hearts and mindset. I've been down here for five days, and I have seen people show up and pour their hearts out peacefully, lovingly, and praying for a solution. So I'm just asking that the news media and all people cover that just as equally well. I have watched every single night as 10 guys are hauled off and go to jail, but we're not showing the 990 or 2,000 that showed up to be peaceful. The racism, it needs to stop because it's been going on for years and now it's just being videotaped. Being part of something like this is really powerful to me and it means a lot. And so again, because this is a changing situation down here on the plaza, we will continue to cover this for you and bring you updates. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. All right, thank you, Emily. And it is important to note, we just heard from police not that long ago, that there have been no arrests on the plaza tonight. Uh, so some good news there.